Yes, hello. It's another week, analysis. And this week we're going to be looking on the following pairs, of which the first one is Audi Chase. So, Audi Chase. And before going to the breakdown, market analysis, or market analysis, uh, don't forget to subscribe in our uh, YouTube channel and switch on your post notifications so that you can get the videos of breakdown or market analysis on time. And also we have our Telegram channel which will be mentioned in our description so you can visit our telegram channel and subscribe also so that you can be getting the updates of this analysis which are being released at this point remember we provide signal service training and account management so if you need you need such kind of services you can contact us yep let's go to audi chief audi chief this coming week We'll be having like a temporary downtrend. Let us move to the day. This is a short time frame. Let's move to the day one time frame so that you can see clearly. Yeah. For this coming week, we are anticipating the market will move down toward this zone. Then it will pop up up. Uh, the reason behind is because we had a very long term downtrend, if you can see it, which began from this point and came down this point. Now we have like a head and shoulder formation, of which the first shoulder is this one, and this was the head. So the market is coming to form another shoulder. So we anticipate the market to move that direction, we move in the up direction. So, so first we have to finish the second shoulder, then you will have a pop-up direction of up move, then it will just this broken trend line, then toward that point. So this week we're going to be looking for a short-term sell. Then when you reach to this point, we'll be looking for a long-term buy. This is Audi Chase, and this is the one time frame. When you come back to H4, when you come back to H4, this is how it looks like. So we have like a short period down move, then from there we'll be having an uptrend. Yep. Another pair which you're going to be looking at is Audi Card. And Audi Card, this also is the H4 time frame. We, we are anticipating that price will just this broken trend support or resistance, this green one, so it will continue moving down. Let us go to the, the, the one time frame so that you can see it clearly, what I'm trying to, to talk about. Yeah. So for, for this week, week, this coming week, we are waiting for like a pullback toward this green zone. Then from there, we will drive it toward this point. And from this point, we will be looking for a a long term up move and the reason behind why we will be, we'll be looking for short term short term downtrend and long term up move is because of the formation of the double bottoms so when it it breaks this zone and retests it it will continue moving up so for this week we will be waiting like a short term sell and then for that we will be have a long term buy our targeted point where we'll be looking at our entry is either on this purple zone or on this like a yellow zone. Yep. Let's move to another pair. This is Audi Audi card and it's the one time frame. Let's move to another pair. Another pair is Audi NZ. And in Audi NZ also by looking at the chart on the day one, this is the one time frame. We are expecting price to continue moving down, and this is because of the double tops formation. So we're anticipating price will move down toward this point, and from there, we'll be looking like for a, 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 a buying signals, a buy signal because of the for formation of the double bottoms. So, for, but for this week, we'll be looking just for a selling signal from this pair. This is the NZ. Let us go back to H4 so that you can see. The, the clear structure of the market. Yeah, I think you can see clearly the double tops, the double tops formation. So we're anticipating waiting for the retest toward that point. So this is our targeted area for the coming week on our DNZ, and this is H4 time frame. Let's move to another pair. Another pair which we're gonna, we're gonna be trading it this week is our DSD. Yeah, in Audi USD, still looking for an up move, still looking for an up move because of the wedge formation. So we are expecting place will start moving up toward this point. 
And when we go back to day one, though the structure is not clearly because of the formation, we have a big wedge, a big wedge, a big wedge formation. So still anticipating that place will move up to at that point. So uh, this pair, if anything might happen, the the price will, it might continue moving down. But that is our target for for next week. We just look for a reversal. The best of confirmation but so that you can start moving up with it. Uh, the, on the on the day one time frame, we can see like a formation of the formation of the first shoulder, and this was the head. Now the price is coming to form the second shoulder, so that it can break and retest and continue moving up. This is for day one, but for H4, I think you've already seen it. We have targeted uh, a, a direction of a wedge for H4. This one. Yep. Another pair which you're gonna be looking at is NZD card. Yep, NZD card also we have a wedge formation. A wedge formation. So for the coming week we're anticipating the price to continue moving up. Yep. Another pair, this is in the decade and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're gonna be looking at is N Z D chief and on the ends on NZD chief the price is going to be moving up so we are waiting for a buying confirmation from this point and what are we expecting because we have the shoulder shoulder formation this is the shoulder and this was the head formed so it will come back and retest and move this way so we have reversal head and shoulder that is what we are anticipating to, to look at so that you can move with it toward this point for this coming week. For this coming week. Yep. So this is NZD chief and this is H4 time frame. And this is H4 time frame. Let's move to another pair which you're going to be looking at for the coming week. is NZD USD. Yeah, for NZD USD also we'll be looking for a bullish direction. Because it has reached a certain support or resistance and a trend line, which is from this point, from from this down point, it came by this way. So we'll be looking for a bullish confirmation, and by looking at it, it's because of the formation of the first shoulder. Now this is the head we're anticipating that price will break and just so it will be for the reversal head and shoulder for the up move. This is in the DUSB and this is H4 time frame. Let us move to another pair, and another pair is USD card, USD card, yeah, for USD card, for the coming week, let us move to the daily time frame, for the coming week, what we are anticipating is that it will move up, and, and the reason behind is because of the wedge formation, which is completing at present, it has been almost a month which we were, we are waiting for this market to to complete its cycle to at that point. It has been consolidating a lot and moving sideways, though it was progressing as it was moving up. It was having an uptrend in daily time frame, of which in H4 it's sad to observe. Yeah, so for the coming week, we'll be expecting price to reach at this green zone. And at this green zone, what are we waiting, expecting? We're expecting to see a selling confirmation of which this sell confirmation will give us a direction toward this point, of which it will complete these double tops, then we will continue moving down, 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 down. But if it breaks this and we test, if it breaks this support, this green zone, and we test, then we are anticipating place to continue moving up toward this upper trend line from this direction. Yeah, this is USD card and this is a, a, a one time frame. Yeah, it was it was clearly being seen in a day one, but if we move to H4, it can't be seen clearly, but you can look at it. Yep, we have a lunging market at this point. So next week we are waiting for either the market to break this zone, is when we get our entry so that we can move up. And this is just the card in H4 view. Let us move to the to the last pair, which you're going to be looking at for this week. And this, this pair... It's not the last pair. Yeah, we're going to be having USD, USD Chase. Yeah, USD Chase. For USD Chase, everybody can look at it very well. We had a double tops, and these double tops have broken this trend line. 
Let me keep it very well, this trend line. Has broken this trend line. So it's like forming, when you go to the smaller, smaller time frame, it's like forming a, a wedge or like a, like a flag. So we are anticipating the market to continue pulling down toward this purple zone. So for the next week, we'll be looking for a selling opportunity on this USD chase. And this is a four time frame so that you can continue moving down with it. Yep. Another pair which you're going to be looking at for the coming week is GPB Audi. Yeah. For GPB Audi, we'll be looking for a selling opportunity since there is a formation. We are waiting for this complete of double tops. So still, by the still the confirmation of the formation of double tops is not complete. So we are anticipating the direction for the coming week to be moving this way. So we'll be looking for a sell signal after this trend line has been broken. But then we'll be having a target of this purple zone here down. Yep. Another pair which you're going to be having this week. This is GB Audi and this is the short time frame. Yeah. We're going to be having GPB card. Yeah, on the GPB card also we'll be having a co continuation of the down move. And the reason behind it is because of the reversal double tops. And apart from that also there is like a triangle which has been broken. If you can look at it very well. So we're anticipating it to continue moving down toward a certain area there down. So for this coming week, this is GBB card and this is the view of H4. We'll be looking for a selling opportunity after this zone has been broken. We might have a pullback toward this green zone. We might have a pullback toward this green zone. So we will wait either the back money to come back to green zone or when it breaks this purple zone so that you can continue moving down with it. Yep, for the coming week also, we're going to be having, apart from GBB card, we're going to be having GBB chief. Yep. Also for GBB chief, we will continue having a down move. And the reason behind is because of the double tops, which have been already, the neck has already been broken. So we wait for a pullback of which the test of the neck. Then from there, we'll get our down move. Yeah, we'll, we'll be having our down move. Because of when it's retest, it will continue moving down. So our first target, it will be on this green zone for the coming week. And the reason behind is because of the double tops and the uptrend was broken. Yeah. Also, also when we go back to GPB, apart from GPB Chief, let's move to another pair. And another pair is GPB NZ. Yeah, GPB NZ. For this week, we can see that there was an, uh, an uptrend, an uptrend which was moving that way. And also there was a downtrend which was, was broken. So we had like a triangle. We had like a triangle which was broken. So the market is still moving sideways, but there is an uptrend which was being respected. So the price is already here back again. So we are waiting for this market to, to break this trend line and we will continue with our up move for the coming week. So for the coming week on this pair, we have already we have already we have already seen the the move. And what we are anticipating to be having is because what are we expecting to have is this formation of the double tops, double bottoms, I mean. So there is a clear formation of double tops. So we are anticipating the market to continue moving up. Yep. On this, apart from this is GBB and Z, and this is H4 time frame. This is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be having, apart from GBB and Z, is GBB USD, and this is our last pair. Uh, for this pair, what are we expecting to have is that it's going first to be going down. The reason behind for it to be going down is because of the shoulder, head, and shoulder formation. So we are anticipating because price has not retested the neck, and it has. We are waiting it to reach this point so that it can back, come back and retest the the broken neck of the head and shoulder, so that you can continue moving up with it. Yeah, this is the view which we'll be having for the coming week on GPB USD. So, 
don't forget to subscribe in our telegram channel in our telegram channel don't forget to subscribe in our youtube channel don't forget to 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 to, to, to switch on your post notification in this youtube channel and if you have any comment any question you can contact us anytime any moment at any minute for those who need mentorship training account management and signal service you can also contact us happy people chasing week traders